um, I know I'm in shape and I'm, I'm ready to run that. Um, I go into each race thinking I'm just gonna win. <laughs> win the race and that's all that matters. And did she? Well, it's Gabby Thomas that we're talking about, so what do you think? Even when faced against the current 100-meter champion, Shikari Richardson, and rising 200-meter sprint star, Abby Steiner, Gabby held her own. But what does this mean? You'll find out in a bit. Long before the 200-meter top three finishers were determined, all eyes were on Abby, Gabby, and Shikari. This does not come as a surprise, given that these three had been making waves in the track and field space for the last several years. And with only a handful of days left until the Paris Olympics, top track and field contenders around the world are being named for an exciting showdown. A very recent development, though, made for a huge twist for the queens of the sport. The fastest woman alive, Elaine thompson Hera, won't be vying for her third consecutive round of Olympic gold. Just in case you missed the news, the 31-year-old, a six-time Olympic medalist, announced a few days ago that she's sidelined due to an Achilles tendon tear. If it weren't obvious, she wouldn't be able to defend her titles in the 100-meter, 200-meter, and 4x100-meter relay. This news has left the track and field community heartbroken, both fans and athletes alike, for the Jamaican star. Amidst the disappointment, however, there's a glimmer of opportunity for her American rivals, like Shakari Richardson and other Team USA stars, who now have a shot at breaking a 12-year curse in the women's 200-meter at the Olympics. The bottom line is, Elaine thompson Hera's exit could end a 12-year drought for the USA. What's that 12-year mark about anyway? Well, since the 2012 London Olympics, when Allison Felix last snagged gold in the women's 200 meter, American athletes have been gunning to reclaim that top spot. It goes without saying that they still haven't to this day. For context, in 2016 at Rio de Janeiro, Thompson Hera swept the gold in both the 100 meter and 200 meter, then again at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. Although she's been the queen of the sprint double in Rio and Tokyo, sadly, a sprint triple won't be on the cards for her in Paris 2024 due to her injury. This, however, introduces an opportunity for U.S. sprinters. Twelve years since Allison Felix's victory, one of the Team USA athletes could reclaim the 200-meter gold at the Olympics. Who are the prime candidates to do that? Well, you would have probably guessed by now. Abby Steiner, Gabby Thomas, and Shakari Richardson. Let's start with Shakari, who already punched a ticket to Paris in the 100 meter. When she ran 21.99 in her heat at the US Olympic trials, she became the second fastest women's 200 meter runner in the world this year. She literally cruised to victory in her heat. What's more, her time was just 0.07 seconds shy of her personal best set at last year's World Championships. Anytime I touch the track, there's an opportunity for me to work on being my best self, Shakari told NBC after her heat. Every time I touch the track, it's pressure. She did previously mention that nerves propel her to be better. In a She Knows email chat, the 100 and 200 meter dash event superstar admitted to being a little on edge about Paris. She confided, Honestly, I feel most confident on the track when I'm the most nervous. That may be backward, but I feel confident in relying on the training I've been doing and the way I've prepared myself day by day. Remember how she was the second fastest in the 200 meter this season? At the 200 meter semifinal, she continued her dominance over the United States sprinting world. She pulled away from some of the best sprinters in the US in her 200 meter semifinal, where she ran a personal best of 21.92 seconds to move on to the final. Has pressure from the outside, but it's Shakari Richardson, 21.91, through to the final. That's a personal best song. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she's getting better every time. You may have noticed that she shed off a couple of seconds from her heat's run of 21.99. She wasn't, however, able to remain the second fastest in the 200 meter for the year after the 200 meter finals, where she clocked 22.16. Her time of 21.92 at the semis, though, still placed her fourth in the 2024 200-meter ranking. She was surpassed by her compatriots Gabby Thomas, Mackenzie Long, and Brittany Brown. As a matter of fact, 
as of 2024, according to World Athletics, almost all the top spots in the women's 200-meter standings belong to USA athletes, 9 out of 10 to be exact. Mackenzie Long led the charge after clocking an impressive 21.83 seconds at Hayward Field in Eugene in early June. Mackenzie has swept three NCAA titles in the 100-meter, 200-meter, and 4x100-meter events, with impressive times of 10.82, 21.83, and 42.34 this year, showing her absolute medal in the 200-meter category. She moved down a spot, though, after Gabby Thomas's impressive run at the U.S. Trials. Speaking of Gabby, she brought her best to the U.S. Olympic Team Trials, track and field in every round of the women's 200 meter. The Tokyo bronze and reigning world silver medalist. Thomas led from start to finish. She won her heat, going 22.11. Then, at the semifinal, she clocked 21.78 in the third and final heat, a world leading time to advance into the finals as the fastest competitor. When finals came, she once again exhibited her dominance at the event. In the final, at Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon, Gabby clocked a 21.81 for the win. This is incredible, a breathless Thomas told NBC. I knew what I needed to get today done. There was no gold medal in Paris without making the team. I'm just ecstatic. It It will be a second Games for Thomas, but there will be no second event for Shikari Richardson at the Olympic Games Paris 2024, as the 100-meter champion could not break into the top three with a fourth-place finish. Instead, Gabby will be joined by first-time Olympians Brittany Brown and Mackenzie Long, who finished 2-3 in 21.90 and 21.91, respectively. Richardson, on the other hand, clocked in at 22.16, Ironically, Long wasn't able to outrun Richardson in the 100-meter, so she took her disappointment from failing to make the 100-meter team and channeled it into the 200-meter. I'm just really happy that I was able to execute my race, given what happened in the 100-meter, she said, before adding, I'm doing it for you, Mom. Sadly, the Mississippi State star recently lost her mother to a heart attack at age 45. All I have to say is, Mom, your baby girl is going to Paris. The journey has been emotional for Long, who had lost her mother just prior to this season starting. She said that Richardson approached her before the 200-meter final to say, I understand what you're going through. With Shakari having lost her mother just prior to the 2021 trials, she was like, you've got this, Long continued. That was really empowering in and of itself to have her say those words to me. It was like a weight lifted off of my shoulders. I think it was really what I needed. Richardson congratulated Long after the race while Thomas then approached Long to tell her that she'd had a dream that they would make the Olympic team together. And then there's Abby Steiner, who unfortunately didn't make it to the top three either. She did, however, hit a personal best of 22.03 at the 200 meter semifinal. That makes her the fifth fastest woman in the 200 meter this season. Steiner's gonna have some pressure. Gabby Thomas is inside, it's gonna be Abby Steiner, it is. 21. That's the fastest time in the world for Gabby Thomas, so there's the statement, there's a reminder, Sonia, for everybody. Yep, she was trailing just behind Gabby Thomas, so that has to count for something, right? Unfortunately, her 22.24 in the final placed her sixth in the race. She considers this a learning opportunity, though. Obviously disappointing. I think um, no one's going to be happy when they don't get top three. So, um, yeah, I was looking for a little bit more for myself. Um, I feel like I have it in me. So, you know, going to go back and look at what I did wrong and just keep learning for the rest. Guess who is actually going to Paris? Watch this. <laughs> 